Welcome to Oryx Learning. Today's lesson is on Unit 8, Congruence and Similarity, Lesson 5, Similar Triangles and Indirect Measurement. Wasim has a small flagpole in his front yard, shown in the image below. His neighbor has a much larger flagpole in his yard, also pictured below. Wasim wants to know how much bigger his neighbor's flagpole is. If you'd like to know the answer to this question, please follow along and we'll revisit it at the end. If two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. So in the diagram, if angle A is congruent to angle F and angle B is congruent to angle G, then triangle ABC is similar to triangle FGH. Indirect measurement allows you to use properties of similar polygons to find distances or lengths that are difficult to measure directly. One type of indirect measurement is shadow reckoning. Two objects and their shadows form two sides of right triangles. In shadow problems, you can assume that the angles formed by the sun's rays with two objects at the same location are congruent. Since two pairs of corresponding angles are congruent, the two right triangles are similar. This type of measurement allows you to use properties of similar polygons to find distances or lengths that are difficult to measure. As mentioned in the last slide, this is called indirect measurement. The two triangles below are or are not similar. If the triangles are similar, then the similarity statement is. So looking at the two triangles, we can see that they have two angles and we can fill in the third. If there's 180 degrees in a triangle, 180 minus 64 minus 42 will give us angle C, which is 74 degrees. Using the same logic, 180 minus 58 minus 42 will give us angle D, which is 80 degrees. As we can see, the triangles do not have two of the same angles. Therefore, the triangles are not similar. And we don't have to write a similarity statement. Two triangles formed below by the rockets are similar. Find the height of the larger rocket. So if we set up a proportion with the rockets, 9 over 24 should equal 18 over x. Cross multiplying, we get 9x equals 24 times 18, or 9x equals 432. Dividing both sides of the equation by 9, we get x equals 48 meters. So the height of the larger rocket is 48 meters. The two shapes formed are similar. How tall is the building on the right? If we compare the small triangle to the big triangle, then we can set up a proportion 10 over 40 equals 40 over x. Cross multiplying, we get 40 times 40 and 10 times x, so we can set up the equation 10x equals 1600. Dividing both sides of the equation by 10 will give us x equals 160 meters. So the height of the building on the right is 160 meters. Now back to our original question. Wasim has a small flagpole in his front yard, shown in the image below. His neighbor has a much larger flagpole in his yard, also pictured below. Wasim wants to know how much bigger his neighbor's flagpole is. Let's set up a proportion comparing the height to the shadow, which would give us h over 6 equals 7 over 2. Cross multiplying gives us 6 times 7 and h times 2, so we can set up the equation 2h equals 42. Dividing both sides of the equation by 2 will give us h equals 21 feet. 
so Asim's neighbor has a flagpole that is 21 feet tall. So remember, for angle-angle similarity, if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. In the image shown, if angle A is congruent to angle F, and angle B is congruent to angle G, then the two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle FGH, are similar. That is our lesson for today. Thank you for joining us, and I hope you enjoyed it.